And ladies, don't let anybody tell you you are ever past your prime. Yeah, women of all ages were inspired, encouraged by Michelle Yeoh's Oscar speech. Even so, most of women still fear getting old because getting old, to some extent, means being unattractive, incapable, and get pushed out. You might resent the white, young, and thin aesthetic that dominates the society. Meanwhile, in workplace, some biases just sneak up on professional women. According to Harvard Business Review, women are facing ageism at every age. On the job market, all age and age groups will face age discrimination. Driven by the misperception that performance worsens and the capacity decreases as people age, older employees are expected to just quietly leave so that young talent can take the reins. Youngism refers to ageism towards younger adults and is fueled by the conflation of age with maturity and the misperception that tenure is required for competency. 年长的雇员被替代自然流失，然后年轻人顶上来。Take the rein is to take control. Rein 是缰绳，嗯，动词名词都可以。Control or losing the reins of power starts job cuts, exit office space to raining costs. 控制好支出 ，raining something. One of its homophones is reins. It is spelled R E I G N. Under the reign of Queen Elizabeth II, where Lord Stark reigned the North, youngism is a subdivision of ageism targeted as young adults. Youngism is fueled by the conflation and the misperception. These two words are mixed. Conflate is to combine or fuse two things into one. Don't conflict basic rights with Western human rights. 不要把基本人权和西方所谓的人权混为一谈 Youngism is 针对年轻雇员的年龄歧视它是把年龄和成熟度混为一谈，也是一种误解，把任期和资历作为能力。Tenure is the period of time when someone holds a job. 我觉得可以理解为是资历了。Gendered ageism sits at the intersection of age and gender bias, and is a double whammy where there is no right age for professional women. Intersection, 交叉 and here are some related terms on shape merging. A double whammy is two unpleasant things happening at the same time. 双重打击或者双重倒霉 Heat pollution bring dangerous double whammy for some. Gendered ageism, 基于性别的年龄歧视让职业女性没有所谓的黄金年龄 To be stringent, the columnists provided age thresholds as they speak of young, middle age, and older women. Younger women were called pet names or even patted on the head. Young women also experienced role incredulity, such as the Asian higher education executive who appeared young and was presumed to be in junior position. Many younger women also experienced credibility deficits, which occurs when some women's statements and expertise are not believed. Other younger women had their appearance scrutinized. One physician noted that between ages 20 and 40, men focused on her looks. 年轻的职场女性面临 role incredulity（ 角色怀疑）和 credibility deficit（ 信任的缺失）以及以貌取人。I saw two gut-wrenching things among colleagues in workplace. One is someone calls others 小王、小马、小刘 because they are newcomers. The other is touchy-feely. Some leaders like hugging, patting your shoulder, or huddling to express comfort, courage, and appreciation. Yuck. For gendered middle aged them, some research committees choose not to hire women in their late forties because of too much family responsibility and impending menopause. 超过四十岁的女性被雇主担心有太多的家庭责任和 impending menopause 即将发生的更年期 Impend is to be imminent, 即将发生 The lack of provider warns of impending U.S. energy crisis. I believe the situation in some Chinese tech companies is even more draconian. Programmers around 35 begin to worry about their bleak future. Employees over 40 are just dinosaurs, not to mention employees over 50. However, four measures could be taken to combat gender ageism. First, recognize age bias. Your company's social media can also be leveraged to get the word out about ageism using messaging that taps into both emotions and facts. Leverage, 杠杆 be leveraged to do something is to use something as a leverage to achieve something. Um, how AI can be leveraged to give more attention to sustainable living. Tap into is to have access or take advantage of. Tap into a computer or a market. The importance of tapping into your emotions to drive your business. 要利用你的感情去驱动生意。
这里是说呢，利用公司的企业号向外界宣传年龄歧视的问题，用情感和事实说话。The second measure addressed lookism. The incessant pressures to look young and attractive is something that typically impacts women more than men. They have to ensure that it is not used as the hit metric for hiring, promotion, or performance evaluation. Incessant is being continuous and will not stop. The incessant rain, noise, harassment, or bullying. 持续不断的下雨、骚扰或者是霸凌。The last two measures are focus on skill, no matter who has them, and cultivate creative collaborations. Up to now, I can see only two occupations that the practitioners are valued more as the age: teacher and doctor. Well, this is Adlines. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my video, please hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.